Um, I haven't found any videos on how to do this, so I'm making my own. Yeah, I'll just leave that there. Sit down here. This is how to get a CV centering ball out like this out. Mine's already out, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So, hold on, let me set this down in there. Okay. When you get it, that's going to be pressed down in there like that. It's going to have two holes on it. One on the bottom, one on the top. And what you do is you rotate this ball so that it was one hole is visible here, one hole is visible there. So you can kind of see it on either side. Alright. So what you need is you need two sturdy screwdrivers. I have my craftsman. Make it so... The, the holes are visible where the uh, U-joint holes are. What we're going to do is stick a screwdriver in one hole, like so. Stick another screwdriver in the other hole, so they're sticking out like that. And then with both arms, push down on each one. And then when you do that, you know, they, it pops out. Might take a couple times, but it works. That's how I got this one out. So I just, just do that. So you just pull and just the ball. This is this yoke is from a 97 Dodge Ram. Um, as you can see, oh, maybe you can't see. Try and rotate the ball, but it's it's frozen. It's stuck. It's hard to see, but the end of the ball. Phone won't focus. Come on. Maybe. Maybe focus, please. No? Alright. Well, in there it's broken. The end's broken. So you can't really put a nut in it and pull it out. So I just tried that and it worked perfectly. But, um, you can see all the needle bearings are gone. They're all in there and they're all down in there. They've been turned into a uh, nice. Yeah, you see chunks. Needle bearing. See? Chunks of needle bearing. So, then after you got that out, clean that up good. Get a new one, you can press it in with a socket. Make sure all the needle bearings are good. Then you just put new U joints on, then put it all back together. And it's not really that bad. But there you go. That's how to remove it. Again, two screwdrivers. It's my Craftsman flatheads. Need to be flatheads. Phillips won't fit. You put them both on either side and pry them out. Yep. There you go.